Hi guys, welcome to this video about what you can do when you want to separate ringtone and notification volume. So this is a problem on any phone apart from LG and Samsung since Android KitKat, I think that's 4.4. So how does it look when this problem occur? So here I have this widget, so it, which is actually a, a, an old widget, but it still uh, works more or less. So I use it. So here we have the volumes, as you can see, ringer volume and notification volume is the same. So when I turn down ringer volume and set and go back and check, so you see both are low. I can go uh, put back the notification volume on high and set and as you can see nothing happens i do the same thing with ringer volume set and we check and then both are high so the notification volume is basically totally ignored so what can we do so there's an app uh, here on play store it's called the volume bottler I will install it now. I'll put this thing on hold for a second. So this is how it looks after installing at least on Xiaomi. I have the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite with MIUI 10.3 and Android 9 point something Oreo. And yeah, it says the app is safe. Yeah, however, it does that. And when we click on details, uh, we have the required uh, permissions here. Uh, no, I think that's not required. We have all the permissions here. So that's what we need. We need the modify system settings. We need the home screen shortcut and we need the show on lock screen as far as i know and the start in background if you want to have it started every time you boot uh, the phone so if you don't have the mi ui you probably will have to do that on your own the system settings or maybe the app will ask you i don't know so anyway but you have to uh set it i think i have why do I have this set on auto start again? So I do it again. Anyway, let's go back and open the app and it will um, it will ask you for permissions here. Allow volume button to make and manage phone calls and allow it to access photos, media and files. I know why this would be required maybe to show you the, the icon of this uh, app. I don't know, but I guess you have to allow it. And here, the not the disturb access, it's at the very bottom here. So I'll allow that. And it, I think now I should be good. So what you can do here now is to create different profiles which could help you like for at home or business or while traveling or whatsoever. Uh, but it's not needed actually to make the thing work. So we skip that at least for now. And as you can see on the next screen, that's the settings toggle and it the ring and notification on top is still on one line this is actually what we have already had before we installed that so what we have to do we go on the menu go down to the settings and we have to activate the ring volume here and then go back and as you can see now we have this as two separate uh, toggles so yeah um, so you can set ring uh, level and notification level independently so that's actually it for some uh, for yeah for some phones it seems to work for some phones it seems not to work so with my first attempts 
it did not work i keep trying playing around a little bit with that i have checked play store and it's same thing uh, across the board some uh, some people say it's not working for them some people say it's working for them the most important thing seems to be the permissions if it doesn't work i think i have granted all the permissions maybe for some phones it doesn't work even with all the permissions but maybe yeah uh it, it, it's just not not working for some phones and for some it does maybe depending on some technical setup in the background so there's maybe no way you can just override this with an app so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments, just write to the feedback area and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And especially if you are having problem or if it's working for you, it would be really nice if you could leave a feedback, let's say, write down worked for Xiaomi ME8 Lite, worked for LG, worked for Motorola, didn't work for uh, UAVI whatsoever. Uh, would be really interesting to see and probably really helpful for other users to find out for which phones it's working and for which ones it's not working so anyway um, yeah thanks a lot for watching and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time